Oh, sorry. You guys couldn't hear that. Well, it's not a whole lot better. I have lost my voice. I haven't been filming for the past five or six days and it's about to drive me crazy. Um, I uh, come down with like a, like a bad cold and I've lost my voice and uh, I feel fine, I just can't talk. So hopefully this right here goes away very quickly because it's about to go drive me crazy. Um, if you notice, we have got a lot of rain and it is just absolutely getting getting after it here. Um, and I've got to go help dad with the chores. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking. I'm just going to bring you along with me so you can see what it's like. Hopefully we can get across the creek. That's the main thing because all the cows are on the other side of the creek and I don't want the babies to try to cross the creek to get hay. But we got to get across the creek safely with the tractor. That's the big concern. So we'll see how it goes. Well, dad's beat me over there. Um, some of the cows have already crossed the creek. I've got to hurry up and get over there. And hopefully none of these baby calves are going down the creek. So, uh, this is what we're messing with. Mess, this is what we're messing with.
So the creek is about, it's about, about two and a half feet deep right here where we're crossing. Um, quite a bit of water going through there, but uh, the tractor's handling it just fine. Um, we've got a lot of new babies on the ground, and so that's kind of why we didn't want them to go all the way across there, especially the, the young ones. So we're taking and bringing, bringing the hay back across the creek. Don't really have any other options. You just gotta either that or float the hay bales down. Hay's pretty expensive for that. But uh, tractor's making it just fine going across the creek. With, uh, with the ice and snow, everything is so soft. And uh, we're moving all the hay bell rings out here. You gotta see, it's just a mud mess where we usually feed. I did a video on some high sea boots. Still, still using them, they're doing a great job. Appreciate you guys that uh, use that code. Um, I've been, I've still been pleased with these boots. I'll, I'll quit talking now, sorry. I know it's brutal. See those little babies, they might not make it across the creek. How fast it's flowing. We, uh, I was telling my dad earlier, we, uh, we got some hay from on the other, the other side of Arkansas, which is just crazy to think about. Um, but we got it probably two to three weeks ago, maybe even more than that, about a month ago. And since then, the price that we paid has doubled. Okay, it was high to start with, it is doubled. And my friend who's helped me out with this stuff, he's one, he's needing more hay, but he can't get hay. He's having to feed corn stalks. Um, so he says they're kind of eating it, but he went and got two loads from the same area of corn stalks. And uh, it's just crazy. Crazy what farmers are going through.
Well, it's raining again. Imagine that. My voice ain't got any better. Um, I'm gonna go inside, rest up a little bit, drink me some hot tea or something. I don't know. Just gotta get my voice back. This is brutal. Um, so I'm gonna quit it so you guys don't have to listen to any more of this. Appreciate you guys. I just kind of want to show you what we're dealing with with all this water. Very, very, we, we enjoy it. We're glad we got some more rain. It'll fill up the ponds. Hey, Zeus. Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah, y'all. Good puppy. You're a good puppy. I'm getting wet. I'm going to go inside and rest up. Appreciate you guys bearing with me. Next time you see me, hopefully, this will be all gone. <laughs> All right. God bless. Thanks. See you.